What up, YouTube? It's your boy. I'm back. I'm not talking about hustle today. I'm talking about something uh, a little different today. I hope y'all still rock with me. I want to talk about black people and the need for reparations, but not the reparations that you're thinking of. I'm not talking about monetary reparations. I'm talking about mental reparations. I'm talking about a full apology in writing from Congress. Um, I'm talking about uh, land. And I mean, if they want to piece together something to go with that land, then that's cool. So let's talk about reparations and why we deserve reparations as a people. First of all, you held us as slaves for more than uh, from from almost 400 years, I think. And if you break it down, I'm not talking about black people being in specific slavery for 400 years. I'm talking about black people being in the bondage of a Caucasian or a Caucasian society for more than 400 years. Let me explain what I mean by that. First of all, you brought us here as slaves, receiving no monetary benefit. Uh, we were not able to erase our own children. We were not able to speak our own language. We were raped. We were humiliated. Men and women raped. Let me say that specifically through bug breaking. Homosexuality was introduced to black men and black women. Uh, rape, violent rape, gang bangs, all of these things were introduced during slavery. So God, thank God we made it out of that era and then we moved right into indentured servitude. So indentured servitude basically said, I'm gonna give you a piece of land and I'm gonna give you a measurement of what I need back from you by a certain time, which is basically just like consignment. For those who have done that, you understand consignment. If you don't have the money when the time comes to pay on consignment, then you go into deeper debt. Or, you know, for those on the street, it might be something worse. That was the next era where you had us under bondage because we had nothing. When you put us off of the plantation, you put us out on the street, basically, with nothing. You offered us to be able to come back to the plantations um, for a minimal, for a minimal, a minimal wage um, that was nothing like what they were owed or what they should have been paid. For those that were brave enough to to leave the plantation <coughs> with their children, or if their children were still being held in bondage. Um, you had to leave the plantation and go find something to do, even though you had no skills, you did not speak the language, and you have been broken from your people. So they've been teaching you not to correlate with your own people for all of these years that you were enslaved. Now you're supposed to leave this plantation and go and find work and go find food and go forage and do all of these things. And you can't speak, you can't speak, you can't read. You can't write. Um, you barely have any clothes on your back. And you have to leave the plantation, in most cases, without your children. Or, or, or you know, sometimes without mom, sometimes without dad. Or the mom might be able to leave with the children. Or, or the dad is still on the plantation. Distraught. Destroyed. So let's go from there. Now we've moved into indentured servitude for those years. And we make it, somehow we make it through indentured servitude in that part of slavery. And we move into what's called... Um, the slave codes and, and Jim Crow and and then the experiments start with eugenics E-U E-U-G-E-N I-C-S eugenics which is well you look it up for yourself but I'm not going to break down everything because it's going to take too much time but eugenics is a study involving black people in regard to other, other persons on this world eugenics came that's where Miss uh, the lady who started um, Planned Parenthood, husband, was the father of modern gene uh, eugenics. Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood, was the mother of modern eugenics. It's teaching you something today for those who don't know nothing. That's a whole nother conversation. So we make it through that. Now you have the struggle for civil rights, the Tuskegee experiments. Um, you know, all that will happen with Selma and all of those things and trying to get voting rights and, and trying to be normalized in this country. We survived all of that, but we still have no respect in this country. 
nor have we ever received an apology. Let's move past civil rights movement and Jim Crow. Let's move up to the 1970s where they came into the homes and they separated us from our families. Whereas they said, if you receive any kind of benefits, a black man cannot be in this home or whatever man you are dealing with cannot be in the home. So they shattered our families again, even worse damage than what slavery had already done. They said they damaged us again um, by pulling the, the, the male out of the home. The male was pulled out of the home basically in the time where he needed to be in the home and they knew that it would destroy us and make us distraught, but they did it anyway. So let's move past the 70s. We get past that. We move into the 80s and crap. They tried to decimate us completely. Ronald Reagan was responsible for the flood of crack in the black neighborhood to pay for a war with the Contras. So, so let you know, I'm, I'm all the way up to 1986 to, eight, to 1990 now. I don't even need to go further than that. No apology. No, I'm sorry. No, please forgive us. No, here's your 40 acres and a mule that you were promised that you never received. Yeah, let's talk about reparations. And let's have real conversations. It's your boy, I'm out.